Would you go to Turkey for work done? I'm are you scared. going to Turkey? Let me ask I'm you. I'm scared. When are you going to Turkey? Bitch? Thanksgiving. <sighs> well, I think I'm like the last person to not go to Turkey. Yeah, I, like, I'm, I'm supposed to be in Istanbul getting my nipples chopped off and glued to the back of my head or some shit right now. But they're going to be pluck, pluck, pluck in. Yeah. Everybody had matching hairlines. Well, well, I'm on. I'm currently on my my note my drinking journey. It doesn't matter. What are you worried no, about? No, no, no. Oh. I'm saying I'm seeing what no drinking for a while will do to me. Who knows? Maybe in six weeks I will be Bradgy PG. Bradgy PG with a gorgeous, luscious mop of thick, healthy hair. I'm not a, I'm not a surgery shamer. I no. believe that the best way to transform myself is diet, exercise, sleep, and water. I do. And so speaking from the mountain, you have to look uh, the, the calls coming from within the house. Was well, that, was that, the calls coming from the moon, mama. It's and all about Istanbul. astrology. <laughs> and from Istanbul. Would yeah, you go yeah. to Istanbul? What I, are you going to get done? I would never go get the hairline surgery in Turkey. If I'm going to Turkey for a hairline, I'm going to go with a toupee, have them sew it into my scalp uh -huh. with permanent thread. Yeah. And then that's it. But I, I, no, uh, you, we know what the aftercare is like. It's brutal. That's the thing. If I was ever going to bite the bullet. I would try to do it here so I can go sleep in my own bed. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not the, no. It's so expensive here. It, it's, immediately after is not the problem. It's the weeks. It's the months. I know. When the scabs fall off. The incessant itching that you cannot scratch or it might not grow. I don't want hair. I don't I don't either. mean to be like. I don't, I don't mean to be like. I never had good hair. Being bald is fierce. I don't think being bald is fierce, but I personally don't care about having no, hair. No, being bald is fine. I'm not a woman. Like if I was a woman losing my hair, I understand that's a different thing. Right. Being a man who grew up around bald men who is now a bald man, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me either. It is absolutely fine, perfectly acceptable. There are many examples of gorgeous, sexy, hunky role models of, of baldies. So and a lot of ugly people with hair. Hello, thank you. A lot of ugly but people so, with hair. So this is why I am continuously like surprised at the, sh like men are terrified of this. Gay men especially, and they, need this turkey trip they need to uh this thanksgiving trip to turkey for their hairline more than a heart transplant it i is, know it's an emergency well do you remember that meme that's like no gay has three a good father a hair strong hairline and a, like a, a, a mortgage it was like, or something but it was like 10 things and i didn't have any oh i had the money i think but that's it and i was like i think my worst this hairline was, i mean who can would i like to be very hot yeah i think everybody would probably but love to be hotter than they appear to be me and until my standards drive up insanely, yeah, yeah, I don't have that bone in my body that like looks in the mirror and hates myself. And I'm not saying people get worked on hate themselves. That's not what I'm saying. But no. I don't look in the mirror and go, if I change this physical thing in myself, my life will be better. Yeah. I don't ever think that. I mean, there are certain surgical procedures in which a very significant change can occur for the better. Of course, it all has a limit and you just move on to the next thing, right? But like, I would say if I had a gray tooth. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? I have big fake plastic teeth. Plastic? They're not plastic, but I have yeah. veneers. Okay. But like, I didn't used to look in the mirror and go, lazy eye? teeth ever. Lazy eye, cross eyed, oh, gla glass eye. Mary, the, one of my eyes, these are yeah. two different fathers. Yeah, yeah. oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. My, eye my, on the prize, side, eye on the highway. They're not even related, the two sides. They're not even in the same hemisphere. I've recently come to the conclusion that I'm also cross eyed. Completely cross eyed. Yeah. Courtney Act is wall eyed. What's that? Her eyes will look like this. No, apart. Apart, not yes. like this. No, hers will look apart. Well, if she does this every day for five minutes, it'll probably she could train it. <laughs> she. If we want to talk about people who really need to become beautiful, she's been <sighs> disgusting for far too long. You know, the true talent of her enormous list of talents is uh, right at the top is the ability to withstand that level of ugliness I and know. to power through being so butt dog ugly i know and to go on television and like around the world i know different networks look, look, look like who done it in ran. ran miss yeah. potato head run yeah. over like she would scare a buzzard off a shit wagon yeah yeah body gross My face disgusting yeah she is clapped bald clapped <laughs> yeah Hate she her. went to turkey and she's not a good person <laughs> yeah and she's a horrible she's person a horrible person. she kidnaps children and tortures them yeah, maybe no. we should go to turkey i don't know but can we just have turkey come to us can no, no, we no, get no. postmates turkey i'm going to morocco you are yeah not for hairline just for fun i want to thailand you do bangkok for hookers I mean, how about leo popcorn my car that says i'll see you later oh, oh yeah.